Hey YouTube, model builders, <clears throat> Dwayne here again, bad man, Scale Customs. Got a bit of an update for you on the wrecker truck and a little bit of an update on the dart again here. Um, first of all, I guess uh, the wrecker truck regarding the missing parts tree. Uh, I have since found out that the parts tree that I am missing is missing from all of the kits. Uh, when I did the last video, uh, Rick Zink had left a, a comment stating that some of the other guys building that kit had been missing the same parts tree. So I, uh, I contacted Ravel and I actually went on the Ravel website and found that there was a, a service uh, alert on that kit right at the top of the page right blaring right in your face couldn't miss it <laughs> that that kit was missing that parts tree and that it would become available at mid January so I went through the process getting one ordered up they say six to eight weeks so we'll see when we get it um, in the meantime got lots of work to do on it anyhow there so so anyways I guess the lesson to be learned is not to go around shooting your mouth off blaming the dog for stealing your parts tree until you've exhausted all avenues <clears throat> so anyways she don't care either way Plus she ended up with a couple of new bones out of the deal anyhow, so she's happy. I'm happy. So we can move on. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> as far as what I've gotten completed on the truck, um, we'll start here. I've gotten the uh, chassis rolling. Um, the engine's just sitting in there, but I've pretty much got the detail work that I'm going to be doing on that. Done. Uh, a few little more details on the engine. Uh, front wheel, kit chrome, rear wheels I had to strip and re-chrome. They turned out pretty good. And I also have the there are wheel center caps that I have to that I had to strip them as well, and I'll rechrome those. The time comes. That's what they look like. So those go in the centers of the rears. <clears throat> um, also, where well, I did get, I've got some the exhaust pipes cleaned and painted up a little bit of I, I always spray just to mist the black over top of my aluminums and that just to so it's not so shiny so I've got the exhaust ready to go drive shafts ready to go in um, radiator it's all painted up that's ready to go so a little assembly there yet. Um, I've moved forward on I've just I've got this tank stripped, assembled, and I've sanded out probably about 80% of the uh, the seam there. Just got a little bit more to go. There should, there should only be a tiny, tiny little bit of filler that has to go on the tank, so that's kind of nice. Um, and with this kit, you only need to install one fuel tank as well as just one battery box on it, being with the, the wrecker body, not allowing any space on the frame there, so... So there's really, there's only one tank and one battery box to, to go together on it. 
and battery box I've got. Well, I got it. This this is assembled. It's got a light coat of black on it, and I'll give it a couple more coats. I'm just going to do a little bit more wet sanding on it now that I've got a bit of paint on it. I can see there's a few little spots on it. So, and then I'm going to, I'll, I'll chrome that with the all clad as well. Um, I've got the air cleaners cleaned up and in primer. Uh, I didn't put any filler in them yet. Uh, there's there's a lot of work on these, so I, I got them cleaned up best I could and did some filler, or sorry, primed them, and then I can see a little bit better where it needs where the filler is going to need to go. So that that'll be those. And I'm more or less moving on now to the interior. So I've gotten all of the interior parts cleaned and in primer. The uh, interior bucket, this, the bucket actually comes with the back of it as a solid piece. So I decided to, to cut out where the window would go. It'd, it'd be the same, exactly the same size as a window opening there. Get a little extra light inside the cab. But as you can see, it's in primer. It's it's ready to paint. So um, I think I'm gonna go with a dark blue interior in the truck. Match the kind of the rest of the theme of it. Um, here else? So there's the cab with the interior bucket in there. So, instead of having that blocked off, and I mean, I thought it looked kind of strange to have a piece of glass in there and a, sitting over top of a blank. So, I think that'll that'll work out nicely. Um, also, I got the well, I got the the grill black wash there too. So. A little bit more touching up to do on the grill, but I just went with the kit chrome on this. It actually worked out pretty good. Very little bit of work to get that looking real nice there. So, <clears throat> um, as far as truck goes, that's pretty much where we're at here. Uh, like I say, I got a lot of stuff cleaned and primed, so. Just a matter of getting some some paint on the rest of it, and then I haven't uh, moved forward on the wrecker assembly at all. I just, you know, once I get the the truck, the cabin chassis built, all there's some sub assemblies that can go together on the wrecker while I'm waiting for the missing parts tree to arrive here. So, yeah, that's that's the status of the truck. Um, the dart. This is just sitting together. I just like to get a look at the, uh, the stance of the car there. And this car is going to look pretty good. So, I got the the body uh, final clear coated. Basically, I'm just I'm. Just got to do some wet sanding and some polishing on it. Um, I still have to paint the headliner in there and um, put the glass in and do the trim, all that little stuff there. So, so I mean, it, not much done, but it's to me, it, it's always a a victory when you when you get the final clear on the body, at least, anyways. And then you're then you're in moving into the final details so so that one's coming along too and I've that the hood final cleared and I've done a, about a 80% of the polishing that I'm gonna do I've done on the hood now too so 
Uh, I got just got to get the, the hood pins uh, painted with the all clad and and then that'll be finished. And then there's a few little touch-ups where I've rubbed the paint off along the edges there. So but I'll do that last. Um, so any, anyhow, that's that's where we're at. So yeah, mainly I just wanted to get give you the information that if you're missing the parts tree in the record truck kit, it never was there. So. Anyways, uh, that'll be it for this update, and I should have another update here within the, well, by the end of the weekend, hopefully, and this, hopefully this dart will be just about finished. So anyways, we'll, we'll see you later.